I think Kenya is ahead of the curve in Africa in terms of changes in telecom. If you look at even our mobile penetration, it's upwards of 80%, which is way ahead of the average in Africa. Uh, we definitely lead the way in terms of financial inclusion. And we have used mobile technology as a way to democratize access to financial services. So in, in, in those spaces, we are going ahead. Where we need to improve and pick up the pace a little bit is in the access of fixed connectivity. In the mobile space, we do well. In the fixed connectivity space, I, I saw a report a few weeks ago that says that, that only one in 10 Kenyans can actually access fixed broadband, fixed high-speed broadband. Now, that is the next frontier of technology in terms of making sure that people are able to get high-quality services. And when you think of digitizing the economy, going beyond mobile, because mobile is the first phase. However, the information from the mobile phones need to aggregate into a central point. And that kind of connectivity where you have aggregation of data is best supported on fixed. So doing well on mobile, uh, doing well on financial inclusion, a bit of way to go in the fixed data connectivity, and then also adjacent services like cloud and hosting, internet of things. Those are the areas where we need to really pick up the pace and move forward. We've been fairly su successful in the mobile space and financial inclusion. In the fixed space, uh, I think it's just, you know, the process of delivering fixed. Uh, I think you know you're smiling and nodding. It's, it's quite difficult. It's bespoke. You deliver customer by customer. There's the cost of digging, the cost of infrastructure, the, you know, the capex costs that you incur, and then also the margins that you make because it's a very price competitive market. And so the end user is only willing to pay on average about $50 or 5,000 shillings for a high speed broadband connection. It doesn't always make sense when you add the numbers up in terms of the cost of fiber. Then there's also uh, from a regulatory standpoint and also a county government standpoint, you know, the access access issues in terms of cost of way leaves, cost of licenses, all that adds up when you're looking at, you know, how do you explode uh, fixed broadband. So we're engaging with our regulators, we're engaging with the government to see how do we create an environment to really accelerate this next frontier of growth. That's the main challenge we have faced. Then also when it comes to adjacent services like cloud and hosting, internet of things, you know, we've got the big businesses in Kenya who obviously see the need for this, but we have some way to go with the smaller and medium enterprises who um, are, you know, not too keen on technology, especially if there's a cost to it. They all want technology, but they want it at a very low cost because, of course, they open their businesses to make money and margins are very important to them. So how do we repackage these services in a way that makes it uh, opportune for SMEs and SOHOs to really partake of you know cloud and hosting fixed data broadband. The reason that's important is because our SME and SOHO segment account for about 89% of employment in Kenya. So that's where business is really happening on a day-to-day -day basis. And so we need to digitize this business. And when you talk about Kenya's informal sector, it's really, really huge. And one of the ways to make it formal is to give them underlying technology so that they're able to keep a record of their businesses, they're able to interact real time. But there's a cost attached to that and we need to find a way to bring down this cost. So I would say that is the main challenge. The next five years, we're looking at a converged market. We're looking at a market that where everything goes digital, um, where we're able to process everything real time. Uh, where we're able to also help businesses improve on their efficiency. So if you think of the next frontier, which is cloud and hosting and IoT and the various services and propositions that we can overlay on that, we need to be able to help large corporates. If you look at fuel companies, they need to be able to monitor the level of fuel in all their tanks. If you look at uh, transport and you look at um, the transport sector, which is really big in Kenya, we need to find a way to make sure that every Matatu owner can track uh, their vehicles wherever they are at you know at a minimal fee uh, overlay that with uh, digital payment solutions like Mpesa overlay that with login systems for staff so the next frontier is really about bringing these various products together into propositions that are relevant for each segment right now what we've been doing is selling a lot of products 
So we sell fixed connectivity, we sell mobile voice, we sell mobile data, we sell payments. But the next frontier is bringing these things together to run businesses more efficiently. And that's the next frontier that I see. I think where we can help us is uh, in bringing best practice and experiences from other markets because the challenges we are facing in Kenya today I don't think are unique to us or necessarily new. Huawei has the advantage of having many customers across the world and therefore there are solutions that you know we can pick and drop into Kenya that would work. I think that's really important for us. I think Huawei can also help us in terms of being agile because all our core systems in Safaricom run off a Huawei platform and therefore agility and speed to market especially in the enterprise space is another area where I feel that Huawei would be of great value to us. I also think that Huawei can challenge us a lot more. Um, I think a lot of the times we have engagements with Huawei, we commit to certain things, we don't necessarily see them through to the end but I think there's opportunity for uh, who are we to challenge us and you know come on the table more and more as a partner have engagements as a partner where we feel that we have joint ownership of the customer joint ownership of the experience engage us more and push us more i think those are the, the three areas where i would say that we need who are we to support us The support is definitely beneficial. I think Huawei has a lot of innovative, cost-effective solutions um, that we can take advantage of, especially when it comes to switching between fixed connectivity and mobile connectivity, which is really, really important when you look at our market and you look at some of the SMEs and so on that we serve, where we're not able to take fixed connectivity because it may not make financial sense, then we have mobile broadband, high-speed broadband of 4G, which we can use via Huawei. And so I think Huawei um, is helping us quite a bit in innovating our thinking and innovating the way we, we do things and also bringing down the cost of what we do. Mm -hmm.